Nerf mods. My name is Meta Knight One Zero Six Three. We're here with uh, a Nerf video, and I haven't really done this, and this is my first attempt. So let's see how this is gonna work out. Here I have a very modified gun, which I'll show you how to modify later in my in this type of series. I have a Maverick uh, Ref Six, very modified here. Um, this Maverick right here with the red, this black part. It has the air restrictors removed. It has all types of things removed. It has the inside dart pegs removed. And in here has a penny drop right here in the back. Um, the back has the penny drop. And I'll show you that when I have the chance. So we're going to pause this really quick. Set up the gun. Test three times the bullets. And show you uh, another type of mod I have on this type of gun. So let me pause this really quick. Alright, so... We have um, the gun here, right? So you simply push this button. And it's called a full barrel drop. All the whole barrel falls out. And to basically do that, you have a part in here. There's a little tiny piece right here. You just saw that off, and you saw this piece off right here. And you don't see it because it's gone, of course. So we have three types of bullets in there. We have a, a double screech, which I like to call... We have a sticky, we have a streamline, and a streamline camo. You are wondering, why do we have a streamline camo? Well, the streamline camo is, um, basically, it may, I think it goes farther. So, let's go ahead and set this baby up. We're going to load it. Careful not to shoot it blank. Okay, we're going to test from the distance from backing up into the fence over here. So, let's go ahead and do that really quick. Alright, never mind because I have an extension cord so we're gonna shoot from there to there see how far I can shoot except from here we're gonna shoot from here so let's go ahead and shoot this baby let's go all right that did not go very far I can even zoom in to where it is the bullet is exactly I don't feel like zooming in that far let's go ahead and just walk over there all right so the bullet is all the way. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, excuse me for a second. Here is the bullet, ladies and gentlemen. The bullet is from there to there, not very far. We're gonna pause it and go back to the gate, and we'll see how the next the next bullet does. Where the hell's the bullet? All oh, right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I un I disconnected my my thing, so the cables over there, my extension cord. We have a streamlined dart from the fence. Let's go ahead and arch the gun. Let's do this. It went, it basically the same length. So let's go ahead and shoot the camo dart. Oh no, 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 that was a streamline. Alright, so we got the screech over there. We got Velcro over here. And we got the streamline over here. Streamlines are the fastest bullets for a Nerf gun. I have the dart pegs removed and I'll show you all about that after I come back with this video. So let's go ahead. And let's shoot the camo streamline. Camo streamline basically went the same thing. I always thought they went farther, maybe not. Alright, so we're gonna pause this and come back. And if you're wondering about the car, I'll explain it in another video. So we're gonna come back and I'll show you the inside of my gun. Thanks to the power of technology, you guys won't have to sit there and watch me unscrew everything. So let's go ahead and pause this and I'll be back. Boom, thanks to the power of technology, we have the gun apart. Use a flat blade screwdriver or a knife to pry open the edges here. Alright, so let's go ahead and explain some parts here. As you can see, we have a penny drop right here. The penny drop, um, you drop two, three pennies, nothing more. Just do that, and you'll be good. You gotta make sure that this does not come undone, though. If, oh god, this stupid thing. Second, it's got a good view here. If this comes undone, you have to make sure it's inside the grooves here. Now, if you look closely, there's a little spring right here. This you have to put over this right there so that your reloading will be perfect. Now, to do... Now, basically, that's what I have there. All right. Now, the main modifications I have on this gun are basically inside the barrel here. Now, if you look inside there, there are no dart pegs. It is very nice and clean. A dart peg looks like this. 
Those would be dart pegs, my friends. Those are all dart pegs. There's one I took out to show you a different demonstration. Dart peg, dart peg, dart peg, dart peg. Those are all removed. Now, let's show you back on my gun here. All of them are removed in there. I have a nice clean barrel in there. And I have everything reload missing. As you can see here, we have a part that is sanded and cut from a full barrel drop modification. Now, well, I will be getting a new Maverick soon. There's nothing wrong with this one. I just need, I want more because my friends and I always play. And yeah, there is your penny drop, my sir friends. Um, I will show you how to do all these modifications on a new Maverick. That's my cheap ass pocket knife. And uh, yes. Make sure, if you're going to spray paint your gun, take this out right here, spray paint your whole gun, and then put this back in. Now you're all wondering why. Well, there's a reason for this. Um, if you don't have a orange tipped for a gun, someone can call the police and they can confiscate your gun. Even though it is fake, you can make it look real. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put back together my gun. And we'll show you some parts of putting together the gun. So first what we're going to do here is we're just going to go like this. And before we put that case on, we need to put this spring thing in here on that. So let's go ahead and pause this and get ready. Alright ladies and gentlemen, after we get this part in here, which is very easy to slip it into place, you have to move this over into this. So let's pause it and do that. Okay guys, so after you do this, you're going to keep this part in here. And you're going to put that part on right over it and make sure it goes in. Do not lose this little piece here. So let's do that. Alright, so after this, it's really hard to hold my camera. Change the battery pack. I will. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And we solved my problem with the charger here for this. So in here, you're going to have small screws and big screws. Small ones are going to go in here, there, and there. So let's go ahead and put those in from in here with the screwdriver. Phillips head. Pausing the video. So ladies and gentlemen, after you get this tightened, I want you to like and test fire this. So let's test fire this. And you can hear the gun. Like that. And then make sure, if you have the full barrel drop modification, once you pull this back, that little top part right there should stay in. And of course, shoot. 